Hey Nesters, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going back to Goodwill to do some more shopping. Let's see what we can find today. Have you guys ever tried the wings at Hooters? I went there a few years ago when we went on a road trip down south and I didn't really care for them. My favorite wings to get is at the Anchor Bar in Buffalo, New York. So this gold trim milk glass footed bowl was made by Anchor Hawking. I have picked these up in the past before to resell in my antique booth. The online market is flooded with these. I looked at recent solds of these and one was listed for $1.94 plus $11.94 shipping, but they sold it for the best offer, which I don't know what that would have ended up being. So I'm just going to leave it there and hope someone will enjoy it and save them some shipping and me a whole lot of pro bono work. This is an opal bowl put out by Fire King. That mug there with the orange and fruit on it in the front and then there's another one hiding in the back that is actually Corning and it's the Abundance design. I actually recently picked up some recipe cards that has that same design on it. Now I think I am going to start picking up some teacups and saucers. The little bit of research I've done so far, it seems like the ones that have their roses on it are typically the ones that sell the best, so I'll probably try to start with those. Initially I thought this might be some Fire King Peach Luster. It was hiding in the back so I couldn't quite see what the finish on it was, but it was not. <laughs> Now this made me laugh when I saw these because my friend Tina over at the channel Gemini Thrifts, go check her out, she's another reseller, she hauled these recently, they are L.L. Bean plates in this blueberry pattern. They wanted a ridiculous amount of money for these, I think it says, what, $8 a piece. These were all fork scratched up, there's, you know, fork marks all over it, and I think there might have been a few chips on them even in places. There seems, I think there might have been one more on the bottom there, but yeah, that was a ridiculous price. I know Tina got a much better price than that, so I just put those back down, mostly because of the price and they weren't even that great a shape. I saw this green tinted plate down there and I picked it up and I was surprised to see it was actually Pyrex. I've never seen this before. I turned around and I could not believe what I saw on the bottom shelf. Yes, this is Butterprint Pyrex. It's a nice Cinderella bowl. It's in mint condition. They had $13 on it, but you know, I didn't think it was that bad because Butterprint is highly sought after. I don't resell Pyrex, I collect it, so I was so happy I came across this. I just kept looking around the edges and everything. I was in disbelief. I was thinking for sure I'd find some kind of damage on it, especially with this print being out on the shelf. Usually this is something they put up on their online auction site because they don't want us getting any good deals on them. I know you guys know I'm drawn to the color green a lot, but blue is also something I'm usually drawn to, especially this teal color. Lusterware is something I rarely pick up, but whenever I see it, I always feel the need to touch it and check it out because I do think it's really pretty. I'm sure you guys know what this is, but for those of you that don't, this is Cornflower Blue put out by Corningware. I know that pineapple was trending a year or two ago. I'm not sure if people are still looking for pineapple items to decorate with, but I thought that was a pretty neat platter anyways.
So I actually like the looks of these blueberry plates better than those L.L. Bean ones. This is by A.K. I believe Kaiser from West Germany and yeah I just really like the blueberry design on those. So Curiosity got the best of me and I wanted to see what these were. They look like Corel to me. Didn't, you know, know what the design was. And to my surprise, it was actually put out by Weight Watchers. I did not know Weight Watchers made dinnerware. Did you guys know that? I actually did sell the last set of napkin rings I picked up and these were super cute. I probably should have grabbed those. I just couldn't imagine what kind of tablescape someone would use those on though. So I missed out on an amazing reselling opportunity here with these Mikasa cup and saucer sets. A uh, set of three recently just sold for $57.95 on eBay. So there's at least, I think there's eight of them there. So I would have, you know, likely have made, you know, about 150 bucks for all of these. And I think they were only marked $3 a piece. So my loss for sure. The main problem was that I didn't think they were that pretty. So I did look at them. I thought about it, but I unfortunately moved on. Now I don't pick up Falls Graph too often anymore because it wasn't a huge seller but I was kind of picking up the more common styles. This is a sugar and creamer set in the Wyndham Rose floral design and I really liked how large the sugar was. Now this piece looks like something I would have made in my senior year ceramics class. We had a first year teacher there and we didn't get to use the little spinny wheel or anything. We had to do everything by hand so that's about what my items usually came out looking like. Now I don't know why I got the urge to ping this but you know sometimes you just, you just do. <laughs> Now I spied this adorable nursery planter over here, it caught my eye and then when I turned it around and checked it out I could see there was some kind of a music box or something in it so I was trying to figure out what that was about so eventually I figured out that you can actually wind it up by turning the clown's head so I thought that was super fun and yeah you guys know that came home to me right? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. If you want to see the haul to this video, be sure you are subscribed. It will be coming out tomorrow and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye!